options. And important ones is this uh, calculation. So here under the calculation, you will see this uh, uh, number of uh, parallel jobs. So usually this will be set as your uh, CPU core. Okay, so now I have eight cores, so I did eight here. Imara uh, set it up automatically for me. And for this history, maximum number of commands in history, this one you can adjust it uh, by default is four. But if your data size is quite big, then sometimes we will try to use smaller numbers so to, to have more resources on the image processing rather than just keep it in the RAM or somewhere. But by default it's four, but you can set it to one or two or three, okay, or more if you like. And for this memory limit, uh, by default, Imaris will set this number to 50% uh, of your physical RAM, physical RAM, so 50%. But sometimes I can set it to 75%, it should be okay. So depends on the, the, the size of your RAM and the, the image data size you want to process, you can try to push to the limit, like 80%. If that if your data size is quite big, but you have a limited of RAM, you can try to set it to a higher number. But usually, uh, Imara set it to fifty percent. Okay. Okay. So here, catch file pass. Uh, for this pass, I We usually recommend you set it to a a, a, a drive other than the system drive so for example if you in windows install on the c drive then uh, you it's better to set this uh, for location to a d drive and uh, it's even better if your d drive is a high speed hard disk for example the solid state drive so what imaris uh, is doing here is if the image data you are going to process uh, is over it's more than this uh, memory limit, then Imaris will start to catch file into this location. And if your uh, location doesn't have a uh, sufficient uh, space, then Imaris will become quite unstable, so easy to crash. But if you have a sufficient uh, space here, then it should be okay. Then sometimes the speed is not fast enough, then the whole process will be slower. And if you have a high speed uh, disk, as solid state drive, then it will work quite smoothly. So here we recommend a, a sufficient location, space location, and a high speed uh, disk here, catch file pass. So usually, uh, Imaris usually requires five to ten times, uh, five to ten times a larger uh, storage or RAM compared with the data you want to process. So, for example, the maximum data size you will process on the workstation is maybe five gigabytes then usually we will recommend to have more than 50 gigabyte from the memory limit and the cache file pass. That will be more, uh, it will be safer and safer because during the process, Imaros will make multiple copies. So it's usually to, to have a multiple uh, size of data. So that is the uh, preferences for the 